Hi, I'm Robert Sennard. I'm the program director here at the Vanderbilt Odo program. And as a program director, my role is to make sure that everything agrees with the ACGME laws and requirements of how programs are set up. But there's no recipe for that. It's experience. And the more years that you've been doing it, the better you get at it. Not everybody learns the same way. And so there's no question that you have to learn not just who residents are, but you have to learn how they learn and help them to, to develop that in their fashion. Uh, suddenly you'll see these light bulbs click on where people suddenly they take a big leap in their operative skills or in their clinical skills because something resonated with them that helped them to put it all together and develop a, a maturity that they didn't have a week ago or a month ago and seeing those light bulbs click on. Strengths of the program simply stated 36 clinical faculty who see patients and operate on patients with residents. There is not a single aspect of the field that isn't very well covered. It makes for great education, great collegiality. From, from a case number standpoint, we do extremely well. We will receive statistics of national averages of what residents graduate with in terms of numbers of each of the different cases. In certain areas, we are unmatched, uh, especially in the areas of otology and neurotology. Uh, the experience here is like none other. Most residents have met their key indicator procedure numbers before they finish their PGY-4 year and so they can use their chief year to really hone in on the things that either they know they want to pursue in fellowship or certain things that they want to do in their general practice when they leave here. Uh, the ability is to tailor that. Uh, it becomes a, a distinct advantage of that chief year experience. It's a rewarding job. It's rewarding to get people when they're uh, young and energetic eager to learn and be able to help develop that and cone it in over a five-year period and then watch them go either on to further training or to their practices where they, they excel, they become the leaders in their environment wherever they go. When I look at all of the institutions that I've been at for training, I've known all of their otolaryngology departments and I have to truthfully say that I am happiest to be here, very proud to be here. It is a fabulous program in a fabulous city, a great community, great group of residents. This is where I want to be. I'm sure I'll finish out my career here.